Hi, I'm Patu Guru from Cal. Let's talk about which mid-cap index fund should you choose. Now, we had recently reported that only three out of 28 mid-cap mutual funds have consistently bet the Nifty mid-cap 150. This was a shock and surprise to many people because they thought that uh, it is easy for uh, active mid-cap funds to beat the mid-cap index. That is certainly not the case. And uh, uh, regular viewers would know that we have always maintained that the Nifty Next 50 is a very good mid-cap index, but uh, many people are frustrated with the Nifty Next 50 and they want an alternative. So let's take a look at the space and find out if uh, we can find a meaningful um, alternative. So um, I have goofed up my QuickTime player settings and I'm not able to uh, get my Canon uh, camera back on and I'm also not able to get my um, Mac uh, webcam back on so that's the reason why the uh, my face is not there I'll try to add my face as soon as I resolve it so at the time of uh, you know making this video there are about 11 mid cap uh, indices there are uh, four um, a factor indices. So you have a DSP mid cap 150 quality 50 index. You have a Tata mid cap 150 momentum 50 index. You have an Edelweiss mid cap 150 momentum index. You have a U UTI nif nifty uh, uh, mid cap 150 quality index. And then you have an Axis mid cap 50 index. And then you have uh, the rest of them uh, from Aditya Birla, ICICI, Motilal, uh, uh, Navi, uh, Nippon India, and SBI. They're all uh, plain mid cap 150 uh, indices. Now, many of them don't have much of an AUM. Uh, the Nippon India Nifty mid cap index has got about 550 crores. The Motilal uh, fund has got about 634 crores. Uh, the rest of them, they all have uh, very little AUM to uh, speak about. And uh, uh, I had shown that the Nifty mid cap 50 index is not actually a good replacement for the mid cap 150 index. Just because there is less number of mid cap doesn't mean it's a better index. It, in fact, the mid cap 150 index uh, consistently outperforms the Nifty mid cap 50. I had uh, done that when I reviewed the Axis Nifty mid cap 50 index. So we will ignore that one. And um, I had several times talked about uh, how momentum is did, uh, is is bad because uh, what goes up fast will also come down fast and when there is lack of momentum there will also be a lot of problems because the, in the in the mid cap space there can be lack of uh, momentum upward or downward for several years together so we will get rid of that as well the quality index that has got a very arbitrary definition uh, although i had made videos earlier that the quality 50 index is difficult to beat but i i would also want that the quality uh, factor has got an arbitrary definition and uh, recently in the last couple of years the quality uh, index has not been doing well compared to the mid cap 150 index so that is a risk that you have to bear with it so assuming that you don't want factor indices we will get rid of that as well so that essentially leaves you with uh, you know uh, just a, a few of them so that leaves you with these four funds ICICI, Aditya Birla, Nip Nippon and uh, Motilal as well so uh, again you can see that I mean, if, if I had shown this in the article, I don't want to show you the numbers. It's painful. Uh, if you look at the tracking error for one year or uh, the tracking difference over one year, there's really not much of a difference among these three. So these are the only four funds which has got a history of more than one year. The, the rest of them, uh, they have low AUM and also they are young. And uh, only the Motilal fund is three years old. So it has been a pioneer in this space. But... As of now, among these four funds, there's not much of a difference between uh, uh, the one-year tracking error on the one-year tracking difference. The tracking difference is the fund return minus the uh, benchmark return over that period considered. So really, it's a question of uh, inky pinky ponky between uh, among these four funds. So, uh, I mean, would you like to do it? If, if you put a gun to my head and say, invest in a mid-cap index, I would choose the Nifty Next 50. I am not comfortable with this mid cap space of 150 stocks and so on. But if you don't like the Nifty Next 50 for some reason, you think that uh, it's frustrating to hold and it has been frustrating to hold. 
but it could be cyclic. I mean, the moment after you uh, ditch the Nifty next fifty and choose the Nifty mid cap, the mid mid cap one fifty can start uh, you know falling down or slumping or something. And that these things happen. So you have, that's a risk you have to take. But if you want to take that risk, then that I would believe that this is your uh, these four funds are your sample set. But I would still stick to my guns of uh, uh, of of choosing the Nifty next fifty as a mid cap uh, index. Bye bye.